now part of Egypt. Okay? Uh, these two kingdoms coexisted until 3100 before Christ when they were united around 3100 BC. The unification of the two lands took place and the site of Memphis was in use as the capital until 2000 BC. This is the time during which Memphis flourished a lot. Years, huh? Oh yeah, 1100 years roughly. The site of Memphis is here. This is Memphis, by the border. Mashi, it is located to the south of modern Cairo, and here a big palace was built by the first pharaoh, was partly built in limestone, and this palace was called the White Walls. And the name given to the site here was after a pyramid, okay, built for the pharaoh Pipi I of the 22nd century BC, and this pyramid was built at Sakra and it was called Bibi Menefer, and the shortened version of this was Menef, and then the Greeks corrupted it to be Memphis. Like Amunhotep was called Amonophis, like Tutmos was called Tutmosis, and Rames was called Ramesis. Okay? And, and for example, Khofu was called Kyobs, and Khafra was called Kifrin, and Menkaura was called Mikronis. Mashi? This is here the site of Memphis, and the site from 2000 BC, this is the time by which the capital was shifted to Luxor. Luxor became the capital of Egypt from 2000 BC on. And the pharaoh who united the two lands was originally born in Luxor. And he shifted the capital to his birthplace. And so from 2000 BC on, the site of Memphis was ignored and left it to be, you know, washed away and submerged by floodings. And so the foundations here are still, until today, buried under, you know, heaps of mud. It was not until the time of Ramesses II, when Memphis flourished again, 1290 to 1224 before Christ. This is the time during which Memphis flourished, and that's why most of the archaeological remains here dating back to the time of the Pharaoh Ramesses II, including a masterpiece of sculpture, a statue, we're going to see later on, dating back to his time. Even so, we are going to see as well a beautiful alabaster sphinx made, made out of a monolith of calcite stone, the alabaster, weighing some 80 tons, one piece of stone. Mashi, is it clear, a bit clear now? Okay, let's go. And so this is the alabaster uh, sphinx. And we don't know who uh, this is, which one of the pharaohs. Much better condition than the one in Giza. Now this one is of Ramesses II, and you know that because of his cartouche is shown in uh, his belt there. After um, uh, the north and the south were uh, united, they moved the capital from Memphis here to Luxor. The whole site fell into disrepair, and the flooding of the Niles uh, buried all the antiquities in uh, a sea of mud. And uh, what you're looking out over top of right now are areas that have still to be excavated. So they all, uh, before they were uh, uh, single mastabas. And this is the very first one where they built six different mastabas, one on top of another. 60 meters high originally. Well, it's bigger than you think. 60 meters high originally. Slightly shorter now because they've robbed some of the stones. But it's the prototype of the uh, Great Pyramids of Giza where they eventually filled in the sides. Now that's a small uh, mastaba, single dwelling. That's the way they used to do them before this first pyramid, the Step Pyramid, was created. Well, in the distance you can see the pyramids at Safra. And uh, the larger one was used, but this to the left there, the smaller one, I can't, I hope I can pick it up on the, on the screen, but the smaller one's called the Pink Pyramid. It was never used because it cracked. They stopped building and uh, it's just off to the left of those people that are walking. Yeah, you can see it through the haze. Nine kilometers away. But not the pyramids at Giza we're going to tomorrow. They're, they're the pyramids at Safra. Great Pyramids at Giza. Well, there are the three of them. First one, the Greek father, 
Cheops. The second one, the, the Sun Caffrey. And the third one, the grandson. So Mika Raz. Um, he died before it was completed and his son, in turn, uh, completed it for him. The little smaller one to the right, that's uh, one of the Queen's uh, uh, pyramids.